But we are going to begin with the news, and the news this morning is a key piece of evidence in the federal government's classified documents case against former President Donald Trump. You heard about it, now you're hearing it. An audio recording that's been obtained by CBS News, and in it, you can hear the former president discussing what he in his own voice calls secret documents at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. The recording was first revealed by CNN, and our senior investigative correspondent, Catherine Herridge, is in Washington. She got hold of the tape just last e evening. Uh, Catherine, good morning to you. A lot to listen to here. Good morning, Tony. In the two-minute audio recording, the former president denounced his former top military advisor, General Mark Milley, and appears to share what he describes as highly confidential and secret information involving a Defense Department plan of attack on Iran. And in the indictment, he's accused of showing the records to a small group, apparently with no security clearance. He said he wanted to attack Iran and what? He's in the Oh, this was done by the military, given to me. A newly obtained audio recording may be a key piece of evidence in special counsel Jack Smith's case that alleges former President Trump put national security at risk by mishandling classified documents, including one he suggested was prepared by Joint Chiefs Chair General Mark Milley. I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but... They presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. According to the indictment, the recording from 2021 captured a conversation Trump had at his New Jersey golf club with a book writer, a publisher, and two staffers, none of whom are believed to possess a security clearance. Let's see here. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. Look, look at this. The audio recording appears to contradict Trump's recent claim that there were no documents and the material was just newspaper clippings. That was a massive amount of papers and everything else talking about Iran and other things. And it may have been held up or may not, but that was not a document. I didn't have a document per se. There was nothing to declassify. These were newspaper stories, magazine stories, and articles. Just Trump has repeatedly insisted he declassified all the documents he took with him. But in the recording... Yeah. Since president, I could have declassified. Yeah. No, I can't, you know, but this is... Yeah. This recording shows that Donald Trump knew that he had a document when he was no longer president that he could not declassify. Ricky Kleeman, a CBS News legal contributor, says the audio recording still leaves the door open for the defense. He's going to say that he never had a document in his hand up in Bedminster, New Jersey, and that he was just waving around some papers willy-nilly Former President Trump earlier this month pleaded not guilty to 37 counts related to the mishandling of classified documents. He posted last night that the audio was, quote, illegally leaked and spun by special counsel Jack Smith, the FBI and Justice Department, and called the tape and transcript an exoneration, Tony. Doesn't deny the authenticity of it, though. That's notable. Catherine, there's a court hearing in Florida today regarding the handling of those classified documents. What can you tell us about that? Well, that's right. Trump's valet and close aide is set to be arraigned this morning in Miami, Florida. Walt Nada is accused of being part of a criminal conspiracy with the former president in the documents case. According to the indictment, Nada moved boxes in and out of storage at Mar-a-Lago, illegally withheld documents, and made false statements to federal investigators. The Justice Department wants the trial to begin in December, Tony. And we will see if it does. Catherine, thank you.